So this video is looking into Dave Asprey's rapid fat loss diet. Dave Asprey being the founder of the Bulletproof Coffee, the Bulletproof Diet, the Bulletproof brand. He's very well known in the health and fitness industry, well social media health and fitness industry. And he's been on podcasts such as the Joe Rogan podcast, the biggest podcast in the world. Until Joe Rogan uh, saw sense and cut ties with him uh, when he said this. We, we've had a real issue with him as of lately because of mycotoxin. I took too much of this at face value and parroted a lot of the things that he said. And then we decided to start looking into it ourselves. Well, they've known about mycotoxins in coffee for a long time. There's a PubMed study from 1980 about mm -hmm. mycotoxins in coffee. They've been able to resolve that issue with wet processing. We tested four random coffees. Well, two random. One Starbucks, one random bag from Whole Foods, uh, one coffee that we sell which is the upgraded coffee that Dave produces, none of them tested positive for mycotoxins. What the f***? You know, like, I, I, I feel like when you're a guy who's running on and doing these kind of interviews and, and spewing out all these facts, you have to be really careful, you know? You have to be really careful that what you're saying is true. And if what you're saying turns out to not be accurate and I find out you're profiting from what you're saying, it becomes... It becomes bad. It becomes a, a real problem. Riggity, riggity, and so in this video, I'll look at his rapid fat loss program or what would be more factually known as his low calorie crash diet, because that's exactly what it is. And so it's a process of only eating fats, no protein at all. And you, and you know, you can get into all the toxins and the jargon and everything. But the one thing he won't talk about is calories. Now, it, this is the example he gives you. And I've actually given you the calories in it. Now, some of the supplements may vary uh, in calories a little bit here or there, less or more. So you're looking at somewhere in the range of 672 to around 787 calories per day. That is extremely low. That caloric deficit will allow you to lose fat, but it is a crash diet. And crash diets will involve the loss of fat and also some muscle mass and fluids, etc. Now, especially with his protocol, which has no protein intake whatsoever, say goodbye to your muscle mass. Give it a wave, give it a kiss, send it on its way because your muscle will atrophy if you do something like this. Now, by the way, when I calculated these calories, I could not use some of his supplements, such as his grass-fed butter, because trying to find calorie information on his webpage for his supplements is like trying to find Waldo. It was, it was virtually impossible. But Dave says this is not a low-calorie diet. This protocol isn't low calorie and you don't run the same risk of causing metabolic problems that you do when you follow a low calorie diet. In a nutshell, the plan uses six days of ketosis when your body burns fats for energy followed by one day of carbohydrate loading along with constant toxin binding supplements to help your body get rid of the released toxins. This protocol isn't low calorie. Don't be ridiculous. But I'm going to start by just giving you this little nugget of goodness from Dave Asprey who says, and I quote, that working out this is not necessary to gain muscle and lose fat, but it helps. Dave Asprey, once again, who says it is not necessary to work out to build muscle and lose fat. Indeed, as I'll show in this video, he actually only recommends training once a week. This is your champion, really? This is who you are going to war about in my comments section of the Bulletproof Coffee video. This guy. I'm, I'm going to knight you, Dave Asprey. Dave Asprey, I knight you, the king of bro science. Arise, sir. You have been knighted. And so this video is for you, sire. And by the way, I made a Bulletproof Coffee video which was not about the ketogenic diet or intermittent fasting, but people get so triggered and they extrapolate whenever you talk about, you know, even in this case, a drink with butter in it. And actually, it was a very balanced, analytical video, science-based as always, and I said you can drink it, just make sure you're aware of the calories. However, I got some ridiculous comments again, and I'm going to address some of them very quickly, such as, well, no one from the Bulletproof Diet team or Dave Asprey or anyone has specifically said that Bulletproof Coffee leads to fat loss. Let me just show you a few little uh, articles from bu the Bulletproof Coffee official website. This is why Bulletproof Coffee works so well. When you drink a cup of it, you're full for hours and those distracting food cravings vanish. Meanwhile, burning fat becomes effortless. In no way was there any hint or marketing push that Bulletproof Coffee is causally related to fat burning. And here is another article from the official website titled, 
why butter coffee is the secret to burning fat and fueling your morning from the Bulletproof Coffee website. As I said, I'm not anti-keto. All I try and do is give balanced information. And if you are keto and you get so triggered, my advice to you is to stop following these social media people in terms of the ketogenic realm. My advice to you is to, is to follow proper scientists such as Dr. Dom D'Agostino, who is an active researcher in the ketogenic field. These are the people that you should be looking to for information, in my opinion not guys like Dave Asprey. And I got a few funny comments as well in that video from people who understand how silly BCAAs are, branch chain amino acids. <sighs> Am I anabolic yet? You know, some of the comments were sort of, oh, and if I add BCAAs to my butter coffee, will that, you know, make me anabolic? Funnily enough, Dave Asprey, in his rapid weight loss diet, does suggest the use of BCAAs. Now anyone, now I've made videos about this and how BCAAs are just a, a part of essential amino acids and how in isolation the supplement does not create some sort of peak anabolism or maintain anabolism in a fasted state. It does not keep you anabolic. It does not preserve muscle mass in isolation. You need all nine essential amino acids for effective protein synthesis. And it's laughable for people in the field who see this. And again, I will state that I do not believe in projecting specific eating protocols to a wider audience because eating is such a personal concept. And that is not the profitable, marketable thing for me to say. That is not the way to make money. That is not the way to grab views or subscribers. That is just the truth. And I will never compromise the truth in my videos. I'm going to make videos based on science which are transparent and honest. And if they trigger you because I talk about a cup of coffee with butter, that's fine. You can unsubscribe from my channel. I will never change. I will always give the truth with evidence-based research. So Dave Asprey's rapid fat loss diet, and essentially it's an extremely low calorie diet uh, where you basically go into ketosis, you eat, uh, you crash diet for six days, and then you have a refeed day on day seven. And in essence, there's no food in it. It's just one and a half bulletproof coffees a day and then a helping of butter a day with loads of supplements. Now, if ever you see anything like this, where supplements overtake the actual food content, where supplements stop becoming supplemental, you really need to take a step back and consider what you are doing. But luckily for you, if you're gonna follow this protocol, Dave Asprey does sell some of the supplements needed. And as I say in so many of my videos, <clears throat> Well, isn't that convenient? And so what he does to support his narrative is to give you extreme examples, which sound terrible and they are terrible, and then give you his alternate diet. And I want to throw in a few quotes from him. Statements such as this, conventional wisdom says you should start cutting fat and calories and run on a treadmill for an hour a day. Then you're made to feel as if it's your fault because their advice doesn't work. Well, actually, that's kind of ironic considering you're offering a low calorie diet, but anyway, no, conventional wisdom tells you to get in a caloric deficit. Conventional wisdom tells you you don't need to do an hour of cardio a day. You need to create your caloric deficit through a combination of dietary restriction, but also through resistance training and some cardio, which can also be useful. But an hour a day is in no way a prerequisite to losing fat. That's what con conventional wisdom would tell you. And that caloric deficit can be made up in many ways when it comes to nutrition. And it does not necessarily mean you have to cut out macronutrients. It uses biohacking techniques I pioneered on myself to reduce but not eliminate the risks of rapid fat loss. I talked about sort of this issue of hacking your metabolism in my Bulletproof Coffee video and how problematic it is to hack processes of the body which are regulated such as metabolism. Metabolism be being the building up and breaking down of substances such as amino acids, fatty acids, nucleic acid, uh, glucose, etc. And it's and it, this idea that you can just hack something with a drink is extremely flawed and not evidence-based. This is not a diet to use while you're working out excessively, although a short workout once a week right before you eat will help. Again, that is not a healthy approach to losing fat. I don't care how much fat you want to lose. Not training consistently means that you have to cut your calories very low, which this diet does. But then this, this thing will happen where your body adapts because your body's adaptable. And adaptation can come in many forms. It can 
adapt to a ketogenic diet. It can be fat adapted. It can adapt to eating a uh, one meal a day in terms of how hungry you feel. It can adapt to eating many meals a day. It can adapt to different things. That's what your body does. It can adapt to putting on fat and increasing your metabolic rate. But the adaptation of just cutting and crash dieting your calories and not training is that your body will adapt to that new energy balance and try and create a homeostasis and actually you're going to hit plateaus you are going to mess up your metabolic system you are going to slow down your fat burning if you use a 700 calorie crash diet such as this with no exercise this might seem extreme but remember that you won't be short on calories you won't get cold or stupid or cranky like you do on a low calorie diet you're just firmly telling your body that if it wants to survive trust me it does then it has to learn to burn fat very well. It, it's so unbelievably obvious to me what's happening here. The discussion of purely fat, purely toxins, no mention of calories at all, which in my opinion distracts you from the underlying scientific principles of why this may lose fat. And if you can't understand that, I urge you to look at some real evidence-based researchers and PhDs and stop looking at the most visible, most marketable, people on social media pushing eating protocols towards you. And so I'm James Linker, Shredder Sports Science. I'll see you soon.